Hey, I'm Samantha from the Data Are All Right, and I'm back with another video about how nonprofits can use Conga Composer to be able to expedite boring, tedious stuff so you have more time for the fun, awesome, impactful stuff that you are so good at. Now, many of us have loved to use this old version of Conga called Conga Mail Merge, but unfortunately, it's going the way of the dinosaurs. Aww. So it is time to take what we loved about it and move forward into the future. One of the things that I loved about the mail merge product is that it handled envelopes and address labels so well, so smooth, so easy. I'm gonna show you today how to do that in Conga Composer. And the great thing about it is it's free if you already have Composer installed in your Salesforce org. So what you see in front of you is the solution that I built for this demo. It is relatively simple. So we just have one query and we're gonna look at that together and one template and we're gonna look at that together. Let's start at the beginning with the query. So for the purpose of this example, we are going to grab the formal greeting, which comes from NPSP, thanks NPSP. And then we're gonna grab the um, address information from households um, any household that has contributed more than zero dollars this year. And we're only going to look at households for this example because you probably don't send a lot of letters to organization contributors, or if you do, you might want to section them out for their own special mailing. So this query is just going to get us um, a nice list of households and their um, addresses. And instead of you making address labels, we're going to make the technology do it. So the next piece is that we need a template. Um, instead of using Microsoft Word Mail Merge, um, which is its own thing, it's really, really cool. It's a, I think it's a great thing to learn, but we want to have a one-step process. So all we have to do is give our data that we're merging into it a name. I'm calling mine Label Merge. Then we do this thing called Mapping Fields, where we're telling the template to take the greeting and then put the address under it and then the city comma state zip um, all in one nice bundle and then move on to the next one and move on to the next one all right you ready to see this in action i am um, going to visit the global merge record because we don't haven't seen that a lot in videos Global Merge is so cool. It's part of Conga Composer. Um, instead of launching your you know, file download from a specific household or just one opportunity, you get to launch it from its own special place and it grabs lots of data for you based on your query. So you can kind of pull data from anywhere, um, not respective of the record you started out on. And so this is what it looks like. Um, we can click this handy dandy launch button it's smart enough to know the solution, find the data, find the template, put it all together. So we're just going to wait for this to load. And while this is loading, let's do some brainstorming of what are times when you need labels. So it could be that you're sending an appeal, like a mail appeal, or it could be that you're sending tax acknowledgement letters, or it could be that you're sending invitations like to everyone in a campaign, or it could be, um, just all kinds of reasons. It could be um, that you're launching a new initiative and you need to uh, reach out to prior volunteers. Any kind of search that you can do in Salesforce, think like running a report, you can put into the Conga format and be able to download mailing labels for them. So we'll talk about that at the end of the video. But for now, let's open up this file. All right, I gotta grab it from my other window. Here we go. So what you're gonna see is a nice table with uh, a grid that looks very similar to address labels. And these are fake people. One of the things I wanted to point out is that because we use the NPSP formal greeting, then if there's more than one person in the household, we get both of their names. So I really like that. Um, 
And it's something that I think nonprofits use already. And this is a nice way to get to further leverage that um, so that you can address donors the way donors, volunteers, constituents, the way they like to be addressed. Um, and this will print onto your Avery labels, um, just like any other mail merge um, outcome. I think um, something to be aware of is that if you use an alternative uh, style of label, bigger, smaller, um, then you would need to adjust the template. If you like to put a little uh, vanity logo in there, you can do all of that in the template, just like you are used to doing with other kinds of mail merge. So let's get out of these. I, um, it, this was a little bit tricky for me to figure out the first time, I have to admit, because it is so different from previous kinds of mail merge that I've done. So in Conga mail merge, you would, you would kind of align this more with how Microsoft Word handles a merge. So you would have this little, these little brackets and you would say, okay, is this gonna let me type next record? It would look something like that. Um, and in, uh, in this format, we're treating it kind of like Conga treats other tables where you just put in the first three and then it knows to um, put in the first row and then add another row and add another row for as many rows of data as you have. Um, so it took me a little while to wrap my head around this, but fortunately I did find an example online in the Conga template library and I'm gonna make my template available for you. So. You can just go on over to my GitHub repo. I know it might look intimidating, but um, you totally can handle this and go into the solution we are talking about, which in this case is the um, global merge mailing labels. Oh no, we're getting an unresponsive page. Um, well, in any event, you can click into there. You'll see the file. Um, and from the file, you, you'll be able to download it um, locally. And um, from that point forward, oh, here we go. So you can just see there's some help resources in here that I write and maintain over time. You can go to the file itself, which is um, uploaded as a Microsoft file. And I know this uh, page doesn't look like much, but there's a handy download button right here. And so from here, you can actually um, download it to your computer and it will be ready for you to use with your with your Congo building. So uh, happy merging. If you use this video to generate mailing labels or even better to move some of your solutions from the old Conga mail merge to the future, which is global mail merge with Conga Composer 8, I would love to hear from you. That would make me so happy. So don't be shy about reaching out. Good luck.